Hello loves and welcome to Bree's Project Book. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. And if you're a tried and true family, welcome back. Today we have a treat with another fab collab. The title of this collaboration is the Seasonal Coffee Beverage Bar Collaboration. Our host, Kimberly from Diva Designing on the Dime with Kimberly Davis and Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner. This collaboration is held every season and this is the Spring Seasonal Coffee Beverage Bar Collaboration. The rules are pretty simple. You have to have a hashtag in the description box. The hashtag is DDOAD Coffee Beverage Collab. And all you have to do is style your coffee bar or beverage station for the season. And also have both of our hosts links to their channels in the description. This is an open collaboration so don't forget to check out the ladies in the playlist and also give them a thumbs up and subscribe to their channel. It doesn't cost anything so let's get started. I have seen some gorgeous beverage and coffee stations throughout the years. When I decided to create my own I wanted to have everything I needed to store a variety of coffee and tea. A complete coffee station for me, hubby, and my overnight guests. Most of you see my coffee and tea station, and I love it. But I wanted to decorate it, and I couldn't do that because it was enclosed. If you have a small space like this one, and desire to have your own beverage station, you may keep in mind the space, what kind of storage you have, and the accessories you like to include. I really had to think about what I wanted out of my cocoa bar, the look and the function, and not to be cluttered at the same time. Since I had limited space, I decided to store my cocoa pods next to my Keurig on the opposite side of the counter. I used an apothecary glass jar with a black satin bow just to pretty it up a little bit and give it a sheet look. I searched and searched for a cup storage that was small but different that would fit this space and not let it look too crowded. I didn't want it hanging from the cabinet or standing because that would take up too much space so I decided to create my own. This two shelf unit was a small DIY project from craft wood, dowels, spray paint and wood glue. The finished project is this perfect size two shelf cup storage unit that doesn't crowd the space and make it look cluttered but serve my purpose perfectly. This two shelf unit can be used as two shelves for cups or one shelf a cup. It can store small cups or a very large cup or I can use one shelf as a decorative element like I have shown here. So let me show you what I have here. The top shelf I store this gorgeous spring black and white cup that sits perfectly on the stand. This cup has a beautiful spring flowers and bird motif. The second shelf stores an antique silver sugar bowl with small silver plastic tasting spoons, a perfect size to stir my cocoa. This spoon rest is so cute. I purchased from Amazon four or five years ago. I love the shape of it. It's the shape of a teapot and it can be used as a spoon rest or a rest for your tea bag. All together, it creates a gorgeous vignette with some greenery to soften the space. Most of you have seen this two shelf unit if you follow me on Instagram. I also had it on the channel a few weeks ago on a Breeze Fabifine. This small store shelf is a perfect size that fits under this cabinet. It was purchased from Amazon for $30. 
I placed it on a diagonal against the corner to better access the items on the shelving and it also looks more appealing on a diagonal. So starting on the first shelf, we have a plant there that I purchased from Ikea. I love the plant because it has a nice flat black pot that you can write on with a chalk pen, whatever seasonal sayings you want to go on there. And I put on there gather to represent um, Easter. And I love the plant. I purchased at Ikea, I think it was $3.99. I purchased about four or five of those. Next to that is the antique container there. This beautiful silver container that I just love. I thrifted this about several years back and this will hold several of my cocoa additives or garnishes in there today is a salty caramel disc that will melt quickly in your cocoa so very very good very smooth right toward the back is a um, Easter egg that I shared with you guys in a breeze fabifying if you haven't seen that I'll link that in the iCard above but I purchased that at TJ Maxx I believe it was I can't remember the price but if you want any details on some of the things here that would be in the breeze fabric finds you can get all the details about these items and next is the appetizer plates these are great a nice little addition for the cocoa bar uh, they have French sayings on it I had these for some time I purchased it at uh, TJ Maxx, I believe it was, was four in a pack and I purchased uh, two packs of those. So I have a total of eight. And I just love the French sayings on them. It's very, very cute. On the Cocoa Bar first shelf here, you see this black frame. And that frame has uh, sayings in it that I can change seasonally. Right now it has its spring and I put some little flower appliques on it to decorate it a little bit. The second shelf holds more delicious garnishes for my cocoa bar, tea towels, and decorative plaque. So let's take a closer look. So the second shelf is my favorite. I love the way how I have it laid out. Right in the back there is a apothecary jar that's full of marshmallows. And um, I have a little tong there that you can uh, gather the marshmallows and put them in your uh, cup and then in front of the apothecary jar are some roses I love these roses uh, this was also on the breeze fabrifying and you can check that out and the price I purchased those from Michaels they were on sale for about a dollar ninety nine a bushel and then back again on the left hand side there is a plaque there that has a gather on it I love the black deep black background it looks like a chalkboard with a white script it is so pretty and that's where I match the the pot there on the top of the shelf the script that I put on the pot and put gather so they can you know um, flow together and that plaque I purchased that big lots I believe it was and um, that price is also in Breeze Fappy Fine if you're interested. In front of that are three tea towels. Those tea towels came in a pack of four. I purchased those from Amazon for about $24.99. I love them. They have some nice sayings on it from any cocoa addict alike. Uh, they're really, really cute. And I thought they would make a great addition here. I rolled them up in threes and put this nice black bow on it. And it really put everything together nice and chic. So this is a very functional spot space here especially if I want to add decor I wanted to make sure that I had enough spaces that I can change out decor according to the seasons like that plant and the egg sitting back there on the pedestal and the plaque that's on the second shelf so I don't have to add to it the, the space here is very limited and I didn't want to take anything else away with more decor so let's move on to the last section of the cocoa bar
The last section of the cocoa bar starts with the word art. The simple white black frame accents both the shelves to bring everything together. The bold black lettering pops against the wide white border surrounding the art. The border can be accented with seasonal paper, but I wanted to keep the chic look, so I left the wall art in classic black and white colors. I'm still looking for a cute little cocoa word art, so I haven't replaced it yet, but I do love tea, so this will do until then. Next, we have a cute bunny to add to the spring look. She is gorgeous with black speckles along her ears and arms. I purchased a few of these from Pier 1 two years ago. You can't have a beverage bar without delicious sweet desserts, at least not in my home. This simple glass cake stand fits perfectly for the cocoa bar. I have in here banana nut bread. I love banana nut bread. And then we have everything sitting on top of a silver platter. I thought that would really add to the chic look here. And we have some paper napkins here to finish off everything and lastly the roses tucked under the cake stand that is really pretty that fills in that softness between the cake stand and the silver platter and then lastly we have another tea towel with another cute saying Here is one last look at my small cocoa bar. I love it. It fits my knees and it's functional. And I can decorate it for any season. Well, that'll do it for me for this video. Thank you, my sisters, for a great collaboration. And don't forget to check out their channels in the link in the description box below. There's also a playlist in the description box where you can see all of our other talented creators who will share with you their coffee or beverage bar for this season. Don't forget to check out my YouTube community page where you will find any changes to my scheduled programming, upcoming series and collaborations, or just to chat and say hello. If you love DIYs, decorating, organizing, and so much more, click the subscribe button and click the bell for new videos notification every week. Don't forget to visit my other social media platforms for ideas and tips to decorate, organize, or better your home living. Until the next time, my friends, smooches!